hello everyone welcome to this new tutorial today we'll make a top a short sleeve top i will be using this yarn which is a hundred percent polyacrylic yarn it is about 900 meter 300 gram and i will work it with this crochet hook a four millimeter crochet hook we begin by making a slip knot and then a chain the chain should be the length of your shoulder to shoulder measurement plus five centimeters or plus two inches so take your shoulder to shoulder measurement and then you add plus five centimeters or plus two inches Well, now I have my chain. I put some stitch markers just to um, count, to be able to count the number of chains that I have. And then after your foundation chain, start with a double crochet in the third chain. So you leave the first chain, the second chain, and in the third one, make a double crochet. And like this, you make double crochets in all the chains. Well, so I have my double crochets completed for the first row to start the second row make two chains turn your work and these two chains will count as the first double crochet of the row now from the second double crochet until the end we will make front and back post double crochets so yarn over in the second for the second double crochet make a front post so insert your crochet hook underneath like this and make a front post double crochet next we'll make a back post double crochet so insert your crochet hook and then send the double crochet at the back yeah like this and make your back post double crochet so we will alternate between front and back post until the end of the row At the end on top of the last one make a double crochet so we completed row two to start row three chain two turn the work and as usual this chain two counts as the first double crochet of the row for row three we will do um, front and back post double crochets and where you have um the double crochet looking like a back post to a back post so mine here the second double crochet where i want to start it looks like a back post yeah it's at the back so i will do a back post the next one is a front post yeah it's looking like a front post so i'll do a front post so do it like that until the end of row three
row 3 is completed from row 4 to 6 just repeat row 3 so front and back loop for row 4 5 and 6 My row number 6 is completed. I'm ready now to start row 7. And row 7 will be only single crochets. So chain 1, turn your work. And this chain 1 does not count as a stitch. So in the very first stitch, make a single crochet. And in all the other stitches, make single crochets. Well, I have my row 7 completed, I'll chain 1, turn my work, and row 8 will be a repetition of row 7. From row 8, repeat single crochets until you reach 10 centimeters before the length that you want for your top. And then there, 10 centimeters before the length, the total length that you want for your top, we will leave some space for the neck and then continue. So I'll meet you there. I reached uh, my desired length right now I have 45 centimeters from bottom to the top and I made in total 90 rows and um, yes I'm fine with this from here we will now leave the space for the neck and before that I will measure um, my panel so from one side to the other i have 40 about 44 centimeters yeah and then i will leave in the middle for the next space i will leave 20 centimeters so if i remove the 20 centimeters from the 44 i will now have 24 centimeters divided by two which means that on both sides of the next space i will measure 12 centimeters and that will be the size on each side of the neck so I'm marking first and next I will count to make sure that I have the same number of stitches on each side so this is the space for the neck for the front panel what we did now is um the front panel yeah and don't mind all these stitch markers i put them just to count the number of um rows that i made so from here now um i will start working on the sides of the neck my last row was 
here stopped here so as we were doing chain one turn your work and do single crochets until you reach the red stitch marker that i just put Well, so I reached my stitch marker. I'll chain one. This is now the end of my row. Turn the work and continue like this. So do this until, for me, I'll make um, this side of the neck, I'll make it 10 centimeters. So once I reach 10 centimeters, starting from this, from this row, I'll now move to the second side of the neck and do another um make another 10 centimeters and that will be it for the front panel for the back panel we have to do exactly what we did for the front panel except that these um single crochets that we are doing after leaving the next piece will now be um for five centimeters yeah so what i mean is this yeah these single crochets on the side of the neck for the front panel, I will do it for 10 centimeters, while for the back panel, I will do it only for 5 centimeters, which means that I will leave the neck space um, a bit later, yeah, 5 centimeters later. I just finished um, this side of the neck I made 10 centimeters which was about um, 20 rows yeah from the stitch marker to the top it's about um, 10 centimeters 20 rows and we have to repeat the same thing on the other side and then you will be done for the front panel yeah on the back panel is the same thing except that we will put the next piece from uh, five centimeters before the end of the panel yeah so for me i had um i made 45 centimeters from top to bottom yeah from bottom to top i made 45 centimeters before putting the next piece uh, so it means for my back panel, I will make 50 centimeters before putting the next piece. So do your um, second side of the neck on the back panel and then I will meet you. So I have my back and front panels ready. So this is the back panel and the front panel has a deeper neckline. The next step now is to sew together these edges and this edge. To do that, I will reattach my yarn. So I'm going through the two panels. We attach the yarn with a slip stitch like this and then start with single crochet so in this very place where I reattached my yarn I will do a single crochet and note that this side where we are doing the sewing is going to be the wrong side of our top so do single crochets through the front and back panels until the end okay 
when that is done you can cut the yarn and first i'll do the same thing on the second side After sewing, we are now ready to start working on the arms. For the arm space, I will leave about 18 centimeters, which is, I think, about 7 inches. So, I have my 18 centimeters. I will mark it and I will count the number of rows from the sewing place to the stitch marker to see the number of rows and then mark um, that number of row at the back as well so now you have to open your top your clothes and then count the number of rows so after putting the stitch markers from beginning to the end of the hand space yeah so this is the 18 centimeters that i mark and another 18 centimeters that i mark on the other panel so after that reattach your yarn like that and now make single crochet across until you reach the other stitch marker so in this very place where i reattach my yarn I'll do the first single crochet and then make single crochets in each row until you reach the other stitch marker Once you reach the other stitch marker, chain one, turn your work, and do another row of single crochet. Well, row 5 is completed. I'm about to start row 6. I'll chain 1 as usual, turn the work, and now for row 6, I'll make a reduction. So I'll introduce my crochet hook, pull the yarn out as if I wanted to do my single crochet, but I'm not completed. Move to the second stitch, introduce the crochet hook, pull the yarn out, and now pull it out of the three loops. So I just made a reduction and from here and i'll do single crochets across until i reach the last um the second stage and i also do a reduction here at the end so i'm um, two stitches uh, from the end i'll do the reduction so I set my crochet hook, pull it out, and I will not finish the single crochet. Insert the crochet hook in the last stitch, pull it out, and I have three loops on the crochet hook, and I will pull the yarn out of the three loops. So I just made a reduction here at the end. And row seven is going to be a normal single crochet row without reduction, and we work like that until we reach row eleven where we'll make another reduction again.
at the end of the row of double crochet chain two turn your work and make front and back post double crochets so in the next stitch for the next double crochet make a front post double crochet and the next one make a back post double crochet I'm now done with the arm area cut. And that is it. You have to repeat this on the second side to make the second arm, and we'll work next on the neck hole. To start with the neckline, I will reattach my yarn. Good. After reattaching the yarn, we will now make a row of single crochets. So in that very place where you reattach your yarn, make the first single crochet and the rest of the stitches will be single crochets across until you reach the end. row one is completed i will attach i will join to the first stitch and that will close the first row so join with a slip stitch now we'll make two chains which will stand for a double crochet after this make a double crochet in every stitch This is row 5 that I just completed and I will end it here. Now the last step is to sew these edges together on both sides so um, I'll start from the bottom reattach my yarn passing through the two layers I mean the front on the back panel so, go through both sides to reattach the yarn good after this we will make only single crochets we'll make single crochets until we reach the top and make sure you are on the wrong side yeah this is my wrong side so I'll start with a single crochet in this very first stitch where I reattach the yarn so go through the front panel on the back panel yeah where you have 
double crochets like here at the bottom make two single crochets in each double crochet yeah so for instance for this double crochet i'll go through it first look for the correspondence double crochet on the back one single crochet still in the same double crochet i'll go through it and same thing at the back a second time but once we reach the single crochet it will be one single crochet per row We are done for this side repeat the same thing on the second side the top is completed i hope you like the tutorial if you do please leave a thumb up subscribe to see my next videos and i hope to see you soon